A loan can be paid off faster by paying additional payments, meaning extra payment than the scheduled payment. Constant amount of extra payment can be made every period or periodically, for example, alternate periods, etc. Variable additional payments can also be made in some periods. We can create a reusable amortization schedule with a variable number of periods and extra payments. Define the input cells to enter the known values of the loan. C2 annual interest rate, C3 loan term, C4 payments per year, C5 loan amount, C6 extra payment per period, C7 scheduled payment per period. Format C2 as percentage and C5, C6, C7 as currency. Select C2 and click on number format, select percentage, enter the number of decimal places. Select C5, C6 and C7 and click on number format, drop down and select currency. Enter the known values, for example, enter 7% in C2, 1 in C3, 12 in C4, 50,000 in C5, and 100 in C6. Calculate the scheduled payment amount, that is the amount to be paid every period if no extra payments are made in C7. Use this formula. Use the PMT function to get a positive value, pass a negative value as the PV argument. Use the ABS function to get the value entered in C5 without the sign and put the minus sign before the argument directly in the formula. To prevent errors, enclose all the formulas in the if error function. If there is an error, the function returns an empty string. Enter the column headers, period, payment, extra payment, total payment, interest, principal and balance. In the period column, Enter the maximum number of payments you are going to allow for any loan, say from 1 to 360. Format cells B10 to G370 to currency. Initial balance is the loan amount. Enter equal to C5 to get the loan amount. Use this formula for payment. If the scheduled payment amount is less than or equal to the remaining balance, payment amount is the scheduled payment. Else, add the remaining balance and the interest on the balance, which is balance multiplied by annual interest rate divided by payments per year. Get the extra payment using this formula. If the extra payment is less than the difference between the remaining balance from previous period and this period's principal G10 minus F11, return extra payment else the difference. Total payment is payment plus extra payment. For interest, use this formula. If the payment amount is greater than zero, divide the annual interest rate by the number of payments per year and multiply the results by the previous period's balance, else zero. For principal, use this formula. If the payment amount is greater than zero, return the minimum of payment minus interest B11 minus E11 or the remaining balance, else return zero. The principal only includes the part of the payment amount, not the extra payment that goes towards the loan principal. Use this formula for balance. If the remaining balance G10 is greater than zero, subtract the principal and extra payment from the balance in the previous period, else return zero. Copy the formulas down to all the periods up to 360. After the loan is paid off, that is, the balance becomes zero, the values in all the remaining periods are displayed as zero. Use conditional formatting rule to hide the values in unused periods. Format the font color to white in the rows in which total payment amount and balance are equal to zero or empty. A white font color against a white background effectively hides the data. Select all the periods and the formula cells. In the Home tab, in the Styles group, select Conditional Formatting. Select New Rule. Select the rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the Formula box, enter the formula that checks if total payment amount and balance are equal to zero or empty. Use a Mixed Cell Reference, Absolute Column and Relative Row. Click on Format. Click on Color dropdown and select White Color. Click on OK. To save and apply the rule, click on OK. Since total amount and balance is zero from periods 13, 
font color for period numbers after that is white and they are not visible create a loan summary format cells f4 to f6 as currency to calculate scheduled number of payments multiply the number of years by number of payments per year to calculate the actual number of payments use this formula use the countif function to count the cells in total amount column where the value is greater than 0 use the sum function to calculate total principal pass f11 to f370 as the argument use the sum function to calculate total extra payments pass c11 to c370 as the argument loan amount equal to total principal plus total extra payments use the sum function to calculate total interest pass e11 to e370 as the argument change the loan term to 2 scheduled number of payments is 24 actual number of payments is 23 the period numbers and the values are automatically populated now change the extra payment to 1000 now actual number of payments is 17 and you can see period numbers and other values are populated automatically instead of making extra payment in every period extra payments can be made periodically for example alternate periods enter the starting period in c7 to start the extra payment in first period enter 1 enter the frequency in c8 meaning extra payment is made every nth period after the starting period for example for extra payment to be paid every second period after first period enter 2 use this formula to calculate extra payments if the period is less than the starting period return 0 else use the mod function to find the remainder when period minus starting period is divided by frequency if the remainder is equal to 0 return the extra payment else return 0 if the extra payment is less than the difference between the remaining balance and this period's principal g11 minus f12 the formula returns the extra payment else the difference extra amount is returned only for alternate periods starting from period 1 you can see the results change the frequency to 5 now extra amount is returned for period 1 6 11 etc now change the starting period to 5 and frequency to 3 extra amount is returned for period 5 and every third period after that if variable additional payments are made you can type the individual amounts directly in the extra payment column or enter the extra payment period and amount in the lookup table use this formula to return the extra payments in the corresponding period use the vlookup function to get the extra payment for the period if it does not exist the vlookup returns an error in that case the function returns 0 if vlookup returns 0 extra payment is returned as 0 if vlookup returns a value then the extra payment is returned based on the value returned by vlookup if the amount is less than the difference between the remaining balance and this period's principal g3 minus f4 the formula returns the amount else the difference the formula returns the extra payments from the table in the corresponding periods you can see 1500 for period 6 1750 for period 10 and so on to download practice excel file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel